Okay, looking back towards the main entrance, turning round, class and five classrooms, the staff room, another classroom and admin block, staff parking in the distance. Swimming pool again in the distance, tennis courts, large building again in the distance of the school hall, and back around looking towards the science block. And here we have a standard six classroom. Classroom, headmaster's office window. The entrance to the main administrative area and another classroom. And beyond the infant section. Staff cars and beyond them playing fields. And again round to the pool entrance there which we will look into in a little while. Working away very hard as usual, Mrs Wilson, the school secretary. Working equally hard, with a bed for a rest if she needs one, it's Mrs Marx, the school, also one Archimedes. A number of the classrooms also have computers, mainly after media. And here we have a standard six classroom. Pupils all hard at work. a small classroom for individual or small group help and special needs. This is Julio, who's just come in from Taiwan, isn't it Julio? <laughs> Julio from Taiwan, who's rather shy at the moment. <laughs> well done. And now we're, we're in a slightly larger special needs room, again for primary pupils. And this room is specialised in mathematical needs. So as well as the mainstream classrooms, there's plenty of provision for the extraction of pupils or small groups of pupils to receive specialist help. This is a standard three classroom. They were hard at work until I came in, and now one or two of them have been distracted by me. Class sizes are around about 20, up to a maximum of 25, and the rooms, as you can see, are spacious. Front of primary classrooms, and that's the special needs room on the left, the back of classrooms now, and to give you some perspective, left again takes us out to the back end of the administrative lock. We're now swinging round from the staff car park, admin, classroom, some primary there to what is going to be a building site over the next few months. A new reception classroom being built there adjoining those reception classes. We're actually now looking into the infant section of the school and we go along that path. We're now in the primary play area. There's work going on here, constructing and erecting further apparatus, swings and so on. 
around to the reception classrooms. And also here there are standard one and standard two pupils. Okay, we're now in a reception classroom. It's Miss Easton, who will be here next year. And the classroom helper. Now we're into one of the Standard One classrooms, which were constructed recently. Out of the window, they're looking onto the school fields. Okay, from the admin block around past the infant section onto the drive and playing fields. The line of trees in the distance simply marks the drive and there are further fields beyond which we will look at later on. And there uh, is the back edge of the swimming pool. We're now inside the swimming area. Admin over there swinging around. Barbecue, bry as they call them here. Sheltered area to escape the sun and watching swimming. The main pool, the farming class. Okay. Obviously enjoying themselves. Changing rooms and a small pool for the infant, hard at work as usual. A cup of tea in his hand. And also here in the office is the primary deputy head occupying himself as usual by disturbing Mrs. Wilson. Staff room. Main entrance over there. Art room in the distance. And through there we can see the science lab and beyond the secondary section where we will be going shortly. But first we have the main entrance. Senior staff house, that's the deputy headmaster primaries. And we can see in the distance the library, music rooms, and the art room. Let's go into a music lesson. So we are in the senior music room, which as you will be able to see is very well resourced. And we're interrupting a first form music lesson. Uh, 
has music and IT split classes to have a better size of group for practical work. Here we have a small music practice room, primary pupils, and you can also notice the computer in the background. There we have one of the primary groups practicing outside, and just along here, I can hear, and just about to the end of the trees, another group. So we'll now move along to the library. Next door to the music room. Beyond which is the headmaster's house in the distance. And here we are inside the library where we have a primary class who have just finished collecting their books and being read to come around and look down the main library section and around now to the entrance to the library extension which is just completed a month or so ago we're now we are now inside the library extension Library extension at the back, a building site beyond where a new laboratory is being built, the hall in the far distance, school bus and secondary classrooms, and around towards the deputy headmaster's secondary house. The back of the library extension and an art class outside secondary special educational needs rooms and we're now several weeks later on we're looking now at a returning party of first formers who've been doing a survey around the school for their biology that can be seen in the distance the New laboratory is coming on. School starts at 7.25 with registration and first period beginning at 7.30. And now it's a changeover between periods two and three. The secondary information technology suite where we have 12 standalones air conditioning linked to a file server French lesson Hard-working second formers, and this is now half a second form history class. Half for Mr. Bear. Today, many of the classes are deplete because pupils are in the rehearsal for Bugsy Malone, which is being presented on Thursday and Friday in the secondary admin office. We are now looking at the secondary quadrangle where many of the secondary classrooms are located.
that is the admin area. Computer rooms. This is now the back of the secondary admin area. It includes the office, deputy head's office, photocopy and resources room and a video room. Quite a number of classrooms do have access to other videos. School hall. Sports fields. New changing rooms. Further sports fields on the banana trees. And you can see the almost rural setting of the school as beyond a line of housing at the far fence, it's open countryside. An assembly prior to the Bugsy Malone presentation. This is now the exit from assembly. Sample of the pupils we have at the moment. Slightly earlier today, normally school finishes for the senior pupils at 1 pm. Although then there are afternoon activities available five afternoons during the week. We're now going to visit a typical teacher's house which is just around the corner from school along this road here. The house of Rod and Sally Best who joined the school in September of last year, 1993. The house is owned by the Lalongwe Water Board and rented by the school. 
and teachers pay a nominal rental for the property. It can be. This is adjusted very well to my team, Malawi, and at the same play group as my own little boy Matthew. They're just four. kitchen where Rod is busy preparing lunch. Afternoon. So we do have to do some work ourselves around here every now and again. The men do. While the women are off enjoying themselves with afternoon activities. Children's playroom. We're now looking into the back garden, which, like the front, is spacious. Plenty of room for the kids, if you have them. And, if not, plenty of room for socialising. A lot of the life here, socialising, is done outdoors with barbecues and the like. Servants' quarters. And a vegetable patch which later on in the year will be overgrown with a variety of veg and fruit. And down the side of the house, back to the front. And back across the front. Mm -hmm. And we're now at the covered porch known as a condi, covered veranda. And we can see the views from here are of countryside in the distance. Driving into the city centre now, looking at the main shopping and commercial areas of the new part of the Longway. You'll notice that despite this being the centre of the capital city of Malari. There is much green to be seen. Very spaced out that there is here. And they're panning round to the largest shop in the Longri, the hyper store.
Very relaxed lifestyle here. Sample of some of the many wood carvings and wooden articles that can be bought quite freely here and cheaply. <laughs> and just across the road from the Hyde store is the British Council, which have a well stocked library. Slightly further down the road we have a shopping complex. Driving out of the city centre. We're now at the, the Longry Golf Club, about a mile from school, which boasts a wide range of facilities, golf of course, eating and drinking facilities, tennis courts, swimming pool, snooker, bowls, It also houses one of the local nursery schools. There's also rugby, the Longwee Rugby Club being based here.
the school is non-religious, but of course respects all religions, as Malawi is a multi-religious society. The school is very stable, there are no discipline problems, the staff are very content, and it's a very welcoming prospect to come to the warm part of Africa, which is of course the advert that you often see from Malawi. So, so